trip to the Mosh is complete without a visit to the planetarium. And Brett is the man that is going to, we're, it looks like we're just chilling, but honestly, this is the only way you can sit to see everything. What do people see when they come to the planetarium? You've got different shows. I we have a, a pretty big variety of shows. A lot of them have to do with, of course, astronomy and space and stars and what we can see in the night sky. And there's also some more interesting topics we talk about. We have a black hole show, for example, and um, a constellation shows where we talk about what's going on. And also laser shows, um, which are more entertainment than education, but it's, it's fun. Um, and lots of different stuff for lots of age groups. Um, all family are welcome and probably have a great time at some that I even would not think twice, but they might. There's cartoons. We have a cartoon type of show. It's astronomy based, um, but it is a cartoon. But adults like it too. I find out the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> Children aren't the only ones that like cartoons. Adults like them too. So this is a separate ticket when you come to the Mosh, but you can find out what shows are running at what time. Yes, yes. And you plan can your find trips out. accordingly. You can plan it very much. Um, you can see because they are timed during the day. Um, so if you come too late, you might miss one of the shows. And if you come early, you can see all three shows that we have right now. Um, and they do change. We are changing up our programming with the season. So after Thanksgiving, whatever holiday themed shows, um, planetarium holiday themed shows at that. Um, so one's about an alien who steals Santa Claus. Oh. <laughs> and takes them on a little journey through the solar system. And one's called Seasonal Light, which is about all the traditions that take place during that time of year and how they relate to the night sky and how there are certain stories that relate to particular things that happen in the night sky during that time of year and what could they have actually been astronomically speaking. And of course we have our laser holiday show, which is pretty much Christmas type themed music um, and that type of year type of stuff. I know we're gonna get a little taste of that Christmas laser show in just a minute. I have my glasses standing by. How do these work? Because when I put them on <laughs> right now, like we have lights lighting us. And when I look at the lights in these, it's a, it's a prism effect or a quadrosphere yes, effect. Yes, we call it, it's a diffraction grading. Uh -huh. um, basically, it just takes a light Stop, and are you going to throw science at me right now? <laughs> you might learn something okay. from a laser Okay, all right, show. please continue. <laughs> and it basically does make a rainbow effect, like a starburst type of effect. It's not 3D glasses, some people think 3D. It's not, it's more of a rainbow. And they work great with any bright lights, like say, Christmas lights. Ah. So it's not just for laser shows, if you keep them, for like when we had the boat parade too, the boat parade lights look great, Christmas tree lights when you go driving around town looking at lights, laser glasses are great for that. Okay, well, as I mentioned, we're gonna get a little bit of a taste of that Christmas laser show. And this is something, again, you can go on the Mosh website, learn about the times and how to get the tickets, and you'll put on your little glasses. Could not be more comfortable sitting back here <laughs> chilling, looking straight up into what feels like the night sky. It's supposed to feel like it's a it, wide open It's designed space. to make you leaning back and looking straight up in the sky, and it's very, very comfortable. These seats are very comfy. All right, so glasses on in three, two, one.